Traffic Kentucky Magazine on this Thursday, July 23rd. I'm Patrick Crowley. Nancy James still on vacation. She'll be back Monday. Uh, we'll be co-hosting again together. Thanks a lot for joining us. We've got a great show today. As I mentioned, the man, one of my favorite guests, Bobby Mackey. He's been down playing and riding the bull and drinking beer and selling beer down in Wilder for 31 years. And Bobby's going to be here today and talk about the 31st anniversary. And uh, we're going to, Bobby's got three songs. He was practicing them this morning. He sounds great. So we always welcome to have Bobby Mackey on the show. There aren't a lot of people I would consider legends in Northern Kentucky, but my guest is absolutely a legend in Northern Kentucky, Bobby Mackey. Bobby, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you. It's great to be here again. 31 years with the club. Yeah, 31 years, and it just doesn't seem like it at all. <laughs> but, uh, of course, it never gets old. No, and you look, you look great, uh, <laughs> and uh, you sounded great. We're going to hear some songs in a minute. Bobby, let's talk about how the club came together. We were just talking off camera. You have the bowl, and Urban Cowboy is what really stoked that, but you were ahead of the curve on that. You had a bowl before Urban Cowboy even came out. Yeah, we, we went out to, uh, to uh, Pasadena, Houston, Texas, and went to Gillies when we heard about the mechanical bull and the movie they were making. Yeah. So we went out there, and in fact, they were finishing the movie up while we were there. The, oh, yeah. The scene in the parking lot after to the robbery and all that. Yeah. We saw that. <laughs> and uh, and after after the shooting, Deborah Winger come, ba come back in the uh, Gillies and, and, and rode the bull. Is that right? So we bought, bought a bull that night, and uh, that was in September of 79, and the movie didn't come out till about April or May of, yeah. of 80. So uh, we were ahead of, ahead of the curve on it, and, and uh, you know, everybody started getting uh, getting excited about the mechanical bull just just on its own merit. But then when the movie came out, well, wow, they lined up out front I down, say, down I, the street. Yeah, and that kind of really what started. I mean, you were only a couple years old. Did that yeah. really get your legs on the on the place, Bobby, and really give you a reputation? Yeah, it it really kicked us in, and and uh, of course we opened in September of '78, so we'd been there for four years. The mechanical bull came along, and then and then the Urban Cowboy, and it, and, and uh, we had lines out there for so long. Uh, when when the lines finally went away, everybody thought they everybody thought if they came over they had to stand in line. So it hurt for a little while because yeah. everybody I go over I have to stand in line, but the lines were gone. But you know we got through that and another era come along and there's always been something that pushed us on along and, and a, a ghost come along. You know you know right. not because of me. I, I, had, I didn't want that to be told. But anyway. But you're, that's coming up, uh, the extreme program on the Travel Channel. We've been on yes. talking about this before. They filmed 12 hours taping the most haunted club in America. They shot interviews with you guys. They did some react reenactments. And that's going to air on October 9th. Is that right, RJ? That's right. So that uh, that should be great publicity they, as they well. They came down, spent yeah. a few days, and great people and really sincere and, and putting together a good show. And, and I understand they, they, they're putting it together uh, well. And, and we're looking forward to that, October the 9th, extreme television and, and uh they tell the story well, I think. What's um, Bobby? What's uh, the the anniversary coming up on September fifth? Is that right? Uh, September the fifth. September fifth. We, we opened September the eighth in 1978, but the fifth falls on Saturday night, so we're going to sell right then. All right, and it's featuring the same singer, same brand, same cold beer, same lively dance floor for 31 years, and still going strong. And the same fun. Did you ever thought you'd be in business 31 years when you first opened? N never really thought about it. Yeah. It was like one day at a time, and and I always had the uh, I always had a. I always had ideas of moving to Nashville sometime, but, yeah. but the club kept me so busy and so it was always so exciting. I, I, I spent a lot of time in Nashville all the time. I, I would go down there every couple of weeks. Yeah, and, look at this record. picture. That's you and Conway Twitty. Uh, yeah, wow. Who's that young guy? I don't know, but he, look at that good looking guy, <laughs> man. That's something. What, what was that taken, Bobby? That was taken on, on the bus uh, at the uh, Greene County Fair of Mazzini, Ohio. Yeah. We were sitting right out there. If you look through the windows, you can see some of the grandstands. Yeah. And uh, there was a big show up there um, at, the, at Zeni, Ohio, at the uh, Greene County Fair. Now, is, do you like his music? Are you one? Is he oh, one yes, of your favorites? Yes, Conway was always yeah. always a favorite, and uh, sang a lot of his songs. And, and you're and uh, here's a picture. Is it, who is this, Bobby? That's my mother. Okay, and you're gonna you were talking about a song you're gonna sing today? Uh, yeah, a song I'm gonna do today. I never once stopped loving you. My mom is 90 years old now. Of course, we were we were both a lot younger there. Yeah. But uh, she's 90 now and, and in very good shape, and she still lives in the house that I was born in. Is that right? In Lewis uh, County, in right? Lewis County. Uh, it's it's like right between Maysville, Kentucky, and Portsmouth, Ohio. But it's right about the center. But oh, it's yeah. on the Kentucky side of the river. Yeah. And my dad ran a grocery store. I grew up in a grocery store. In, in Vanceburg? In Concord. The Concord. A little town of Concord. It's 12 miles from, from Vanceburg. Uh, how about that suit? I think I wore that suit to my prom. Uh, that was a heck of a picture that you had on there. <laughs> uh, and uh, what, what else are you going to well, I think we got some more pictures now. What, what's this here, Bobby? Uh, that's, uh, where, were, where were we? Uh, that's my friend Red Jenkins. I, I started out uh, playing music with him. 
uh, about <laughs> four years <Yeah>. ago. <laughs> and uh, Red and I have been friends for many, many years. And I do some, I sing some with, I do some shows with Red Jenkins and David Short. Was that at the... Um, Dry Ridge? Dry Ridge. Oh, okay. okay. Thanks, RJ. Right on the live camera well, giving us our Ridge. kiss. Was that a, at a benefit? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Look at um, that. Yes, that's whoa. great. Bobby and a Fez. That Never thought me. I'd see it. That couldn't have been me. No, this is uh, <laughs> something RJ cooked up. But this shows you are going to be, uh, you're going to be the Grand Marshal, is that right? The Grand Marshal at the Alexandria. Uh, Labor Fair. Day Parade. Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on that. That's a great parade. That'll be fine. That'll be good. You'll be good. Uh, you'll be a good break from all the politicians. <laughs> now, here's my favorite. I, was, I didn't know Barack Obama hung out at uh, Bobby Mackey's, but... Uh, well, it wasn't easy, but we got him there. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure no. he liked it. Uh, that's a great picture. You know, Bobby, as far as your music, we showed Conway Twitty. You like, you like I'm going to call it the old school, uh, traditional yes. country music yes. more than some of the newer stuff. And, and when I watched Durbin Cowboy and heard those music and, and heard you playing today, I mean, that, that's just beautiful, classic country music. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever die. It, you know, people love it at the club, and, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's what I do, and uh, I just I don't want to do anything else. I started out at, at four years old singing Hank Williams songs, yeah. and I thought he was the only voice in country music. Yeah. And when I found out that he had passed away, I thought that that was the end of music. Yeah. But uh, then, then in, my, in my teens, Buck Owens came along. Yeah. And, uh, and and I got fascinated with Buck Owens' music, yeah. and then Merle Haggard, and yeah. then of course it, you know, yeah. all the Grand Ole Opry stars of the day. Yeah, and I, I, that's just my thing, and and people like it. Yeah, know? oh, they, they love you, it. You can't find it in any other clubs anywhere. What do you think about today's country music? Anybody you out there like very much? Uh, Alan Jackson and George yeah. Strait, they're still hanging in yeah. there, and of course Randy Travis still has a few, little few things going, but yeah. but he was one of my favorites, and uh, the, the traditional boys, I, yeah. I, you know. Good luck to, to the Tim McGraws and uh, Kenny Chesney's. Good yep. luck to them. And the younger people really like them, like their music. But it's, it's really not, not like the, the old school. No, it's, it's like rock. It really is, and yeah, pop. And my daughter, who's 20, she goes to every country concert over at River Band. Uh, the kids love the country music, but I tell her that's not country music. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it, but I like them all. I like McGraw. I like yeah, uh, I, Kenny I, I Chesney. But, more power to them. But, right. but my kind of music is the Buck Owens, Merrill Hacker, George Jones, yeah. Conway Twitty. All right. Yeah. We're going to hear Bobby Mackey. I just want to tell you congratulations on running your club. You are an absolute institution in Northern Kentucky, and it's Thank so great you. to have you here. And Thank you. It's good luck for time. another 31 years, buddy. I'm going to try. All right. We're going to take a break and come back, and Bobby's going to sing for us what he does best. We'll be right back.